All right, what's up, YouTubers? So welcome back if you've been here before, and welcome to our channel if you haven't been here yet. We're the Texas Duck Outfitters. My name's Brandon, and this is Mike over here. Today we're gonna to be doing the small decoy spread video today. We're gonna to be showing you how to set it up with using just eight decoys. And specifically for this video, we're gonna be showing you uh, the small decoy spread with just mallards. All right, so I'm gonna turn it over to Mike now to show you guys all the specifics of this type of decoy spread. What's up guys, Mike here with Texas Duck Outfitters. Today we're going over the small decoy spread using only mallards. Uh, so one thing that's imperative with the small decoy spread, you're typically using between six to eight decoys only. Now, you can have a mixture of surface feeders, feeder butts, high and low risers, or you can use only low and high heads. Now, one thing that I want to get into from the very get-go is when you see a small group of mallards, Number, they're typically paired up, and that's what we have simulated here. Now, when ducks are feeding, typically one is only butt up, and the other is either at a low or high head, or they're surface feeding. So we have both examples right here with this drake in this head, with that head and this drake. Now, that gives you a more natural presentation when you're throwing the spread. So you can have about four decoys, kind of close, but they look like they're more so paired up than anything. So you're going to want two decoys off to each side, and you can have uh, a surface feeder and a low head, a high head and a low head, two low heads, two high heads, it's not going to matter as long as they're paired up. And you're going to want them just a little bit off from the feeding ducks. Now, because they're all mallards, you know, they're going to be kind of close together, but they're not going to be super congested. So you're not going to want to have them all in one area. You're going to want to spread them out just a little bit. And for the purpose of this video, we have them in a little tighter, but typically you'd want them of about 10, 10 yards off from the big group or the feeding group, which would be right here if you're hunting in the blind where Brandon's standing, where the camera is. All right, guys, so one thing I want to hit on here is that when you're throwing a small decoy spread uh, with the mallards, you know, you can throw them in any pattern. You can throw them in a little U, you can throw them in a J hook if you got a crosswind. Or you could just kind of scatter them out, keep them a, a little spread out. But remember with mallards, at the end of the day, there might only be one pair that's kind of far off. The others are going to kind of congregate together. Just keep that in mind. So we're going to be doing another video where it's the exact same decoy spread, but a little bit mixed up, literally, with a mixed bag of decoys where you use some different species of ducks. All right, so I hope those tips that Mike gave you guys will help you guys out in the field. Next season, let us know how this spread works for you guys in the field down in the comment section below. And like always, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time.